Let's go to Ed Gillespie for the Romney campaign. Good morning, Ed. Good to have you this morning. You heard David Pluff right there. His closing argument, Governor Romney would be an enormous risk. And that uh, we're doing better. We should build on the progress we made. Uh, the fact is, George, the unemployment rate today is higher than the day President Obama took office. 23 million Americans struggling to find work. The household income down by $4,300. That's what this campaign is about. Them saying, you know, we need to keep doing this. We need more of the same, essentially. We need four more years like the last four years. And Governor Romney promising real change. Uh, you know, in terms of President Obama's policies, we've heard that if he's reelected, uh, I guess his agenda is he will establish a uh, secretary of business. He thinks that somehow is going to help foster job creation. When Governor Romney has been talking for, for months now about his five-point plan to uh, grow the middle class uh, with greater unleashing domestic energy supply, balancing the budget, uh, tax reforms, uh, greater trade, you know, we have a very strong agenda that is resonating uh, with the American people. That's why he's going to win on Tuesday. You heard David Pluff's assessment of the battlegrounds right now. They believe they're in a strong position with that Ohio, Iowa, Wisconsin firewall. And you heard him say that you all are playing defense in Virginia and Florida and a desperate ploy in Pennsylvania. Your response? You know, uh, four years ago, it's, it's a remarkable juxtaposition here that uh, Mitt Romney will be in the suburbs of uh, Philadelphia uh, uh, today. And, you know, four years ago, Barack Obama was in Indiana. When you look at where this map has gone, it reflects the, the change and the direction and the momentum uh, toward Governor Romney. And the fact is that a state like uh, Pennsylvania being in play, a poll out today so showing Michigan uh, a dead heat, uh, you know, this, the map has expanded. Wisconsin, Minnesota has expanded our way. Uh, we feel very confident in terms of uh, where we are in the, in the uh, target states. We've been able to expand into Pennsylvania while fully funding and staying uh, current with everything we need to be doing in Florida and Virginia and Ohio and all of the other target states. But I, I think what you're seeing, George, if I can just say, you know, when you listen to uh, uh, to your previous guest and he talks about the ground game, ground game, ground game, they, they constantly talk about that and they're doing conference calls all the time uh, on this. Their assumption seems to be that these undecided voters, the, you know, and the, the president and Governor Romney are both about 47, 48 percent, as you know, uh, in these polls. And their assumption seems to be that these undecided voters aren't going to turn out and that they will therefore prevail because of their superior ground game versus ours. Number one, uh, their ground game is not superior. And number two, I think those undecided voters are going to turn out and they're going to break and you uh, think pretty gonna strongly break. against the president. But when you see the, all the public polls in the battleground states, most of them show the president holding a quite small in many of the states, but steady lead in a lot of the key battlegrounds. Do you just think those state polls have some kind of statistical bias in them? Well, it depends on which ones. I mean, I, you know, there was a poll in Virginia, as you know, my uh, home state that had uh, uh, the president winning uh, by two percentage points. I think it was uh, 47, 45. And Governor Romney winning the independent vote by 21 percentage points. Now, I can tell you, George, if Governor Romney wins independence in Virginia by 21 percentage points on Tuesday, he will not lose to President Obama by two percentage points. So there is, you know, the, the most recent public uh, poll for uh, the uh, one of the other networks had uh, Ohio uh, uh, had had Obama ahead, but it had a plus nine percentage point Democratic advantage. That would be a bigger margin than, than uh, for President Obama in 2012 than he enjoyed in 2008. I just don't buy that. I don't see it. I actually believe when I look at the data, when I look at where the president is, when you're you're the incumbent president of the United States and you are at 47 or 48 percent in your ballot two days before the election, you are in deep trouble. And that's where they are today. And I don't I believe when I look at the intensity numbers, when I look at being on the road for three days with Governor Romney and the crowds, uh, when I look at the undecideds, uh, I believe that Governor Romney will not only uh, win on Tuesday, I believe he could win decisively. In these final uh, days, of course, so much in the Northeast impacted by Hurricane Sandy. You heard uh, Mayor Giuliani in the previous segment. The president's also received some praise uh, as well. And most voters, according to our polls, think he's handled the hurricane about as well as he could. Does Governor Romney have any quarrel with the way President Obama's handled the hurricane? 
Well, from what we've heard from uh, the governors, they're working well with uh, FEMA. There's a good working relationship between the uh, state and the, and the federal government. As you know, Governor Romney uh, has focused very much and asked our supporters uh, to help those, uh, our fellow Americans who are in need and who have been uh, harmed by uh, this devastating hurricane. We've uh, constantly and, and consistently asked people to, to donate to uh, the Red Cross and to the Salvation Army and put that information up on the, uh, on the screens at our events. We've asked people to bring canned goods and to and, and Governor Romney uh, turned some of our uh, volunteer centers into collection centers so uh, we're, we are keeping uh, those hurt by the storm uh, in our in our prayers and, and in our thoughts and trying to not only keep them in our thoughts but in our actions as well finally do you agree with Carl Rove that the president's response has helped him politically in this last week you know, I just don't know. Uh, uh, you know, we're very focused on uh, highlighting the, the difference in this election. Governor Romney is uh, closing very strong with a big speech uh, about the differences uh, that would happen in the next four years. Uh, I think when you look at where the, the, these two candidates are going and what they're saying, it reflects kind of the strategy. President Obama asking his voters to vote for revenge. Uh, Governor Romney asking uh, our, our asking Americans to vote for love of country. Uh, very sharp contrast. And again, I think this gets back to uh, their desire, their assessment that they need to uh, still energize core Democratic voters. In your poll today, George, as you know, there's a difference in intensity between self-identified Republicans and self-identified Democrats of about six percentage points. Republicans saying they're certain to vote uh, relative to uh, to the Democrats. And what I hear from the president is kind of an energizing the base message. Uh, Governor Romney, uh, you know, has a much bigger message that I think resonates strongly with a lot of those undecideds out there. Ed Gillespie, thanks very much for your time this morning.